Hello everyone and welcome to Poznań 2024 ICF Canoe Sprint World Cup. I am Tomasz Janczak and I will be your host for today as well as tomorrow and Sunday. And now we are starting off with the first race of today. K4 men 500 meters. Lane 3 from Ukraine. Kuk Harik, Danielenko, Trunov and Simikin. Lane 4 from Belgium. Bestaites, Van Gel, Akerele, Bestaitans, from lane 5, Germany, Hammer, Bange, Sommer, Recech, lane 6, from Slovakia, Balac, Misak, Zalka, and Boltek, and lane 7, from Poland, Pilas, Wiczew, Leszczyński, and Kajdanek. Athletes have, have already passed about the half uh, of the whole distance, only 500 meters to go. This is a very, very quick race, only uh, two minutes or even less for this type of the competition. And Slovakia is first with uh, 40 seconds down. This is the first heat, which means that athletes from this category are going to be uh, qualifying to the next finals. First three go directly there, then uh, fourth, fifth, sixth and seventh bo uh, both are going to semi-finals. And we have winners. First place, Ukraine. Ukraine, Slovakia and Germany. Uh, less than a minute and a half. They are going straight to finals. Then Poland and Belgium uh, are qualifying to semi-finals. So we are going to see them race again. Thank you. 
next race. K4 men 500 meters, this is heat number two. It is going to take place in just a minute or so on the third line from Ukraine. Syro Matinkov, Harap, Brezitski and Smilka. Then fourth line from Poland. Stepum, Korsak, Morawski and Witczak. Fifth lane from Czech, Czech Republic. Zerman, Socek, Prolik and Humhal. Sixth lane, Germany. Rentschmidt, Lemke, Schopf and Liberluch. And finally seventh lane from China. Bu, Wang, Zhang and Dong. Weather for now, it is quite nice here in Poznań. Although we are seeing quite a lot of strong winds, uh, mainly coming from the from the final line. It won't probably affect much uh, the the outcome of the races, but uh, still it may change for the worse. Let's hope for the positive outcome. Ready, set and go, they have started. On the lead now from Germany. In the lane 6, Redschmidt, Lemke, Schopf and Lipscher Luch. Together with competitors from China and Poland, they are going to be first, second and third, I believe at least. Although now it seems that Chinese competitors are losing a lot of steam and they are being overtaken. German still first and they are going straight to finals. Together with Poles and the boat from Czech Republic. And actually it wasn't Czech Republic, it was Ukraine with a less than a second lead to the Czech Republic. Those were K4 men 500 meters and now we are going to move on to C2 men 500 meters, hit number one. The race will take place at 10-12 o'clock.
Now we are seeing the start list. On the third lane from Poland, Aleksander Kitevski and Oleksii Koliady. Fourth lane, Ukraine, Yuri Vanduk and Pavlo Otukhov. Fifth lane, Great Britain, Jonathan Jones and Benjamin Phillips. Sixth lane, Germany, Hannes Müller and Florin Bange. Seventh lane from China, Hao Liu and Bowen G. And they have started. Five boats. Only fr first three go straight to finals. Fourth to seventh place has to compete in semi finals. Of course, competing in semi finals is not the desirable outcome for the athletes as they will have to do another tiresome race. Now in the lead China, Hauen Liu and Bowen Ji. They are closely followed by Polish crew, Aleksander Kitevski and Oleksii Koliadych. Last 200 meters to go. Shortly all of them are going to speed up, hoping to get that first, second or third place. Last 50 meters or so and it seems that China is going to be first. Without a doubt they are well prepared for this race. China, Poland and then Ukraine.
Next heat, final heat of C2 men 500 meters category. Third lane from Czech Republic. Antoni Hrabal and Jiri Minarik. Fourth lane, Manuel Antonio and Binilson Sanda. Fifth lane, Viktor Glazunov and Arsen Slivinski. Sixth lane, Vitali Verheles and Adri Rybakov. And seventh lane, Rio Nuganama and Mosato Hishimoto. Czech Republic, Angolia, Poland, Ukraine and Japan. You can see that only uh, Antoni Hrabal and Jiri Minarik from Czech Republic are paddling on the same side, they are both paddling on the left. This is slightly less convenient than paddling on both sides as it, as it is in case uh, when it comes to the other boats. But still it seems that Czechs are doing just fine. As you may know, Czech Republic has an extended extend history of canoeing and winning in this type of competition. And here we have the results. Poles, Poles managed to win with the Czechs. On the third place in the seventh line from Japan. this particular race Ukraine was almost 20 seconds or even uh, more than 20 seconds after the the first winning double boat 
and you may wonder why. Actually, this is the only sensible thing to do. If you are not going to qualify straight to finals, you might as well chill, chill out a little bit, rest, not uh, overtire yourself during the already lost race. You should leave some of your strength for the semi-finals to win there because semi-finals will be much, much more fierce.
in the minute or so we will see the fifth race of this day k1 women 1000 meters hit number one Slovakia, Great Britain, ICF, Uzbekistan, USA, Czech Republic, Sweden and Slovakia. First lane, Anna Stable. Second lane, Great Britain, uh, Melissa Johnson. Third lane, uh, Saman Soltani. Fourth lane, uh, Mavlonova. Sixth lane, Wilding. Seventh lane, Milova. Eighth lane, Anderson and ninth lane, Sulenova. Wilding is unfortunately not here. USA is not going to compete in this particular category. <coughs> 1000 meters, especially for women, is a little bit longer. Uh, the world best time is 3 minutes and 49 seconds, done by uh, Hatton Tenale from New Zealand. The same rules as we have seen in K4 and C2 previously still apply. First three competitors go straight to the finals. Fourth to seventh place go to semi-finals. First for now and I believe up to the end as well is going to be Melina Andersson from Sweden. She is more than a boat ahead uh, from the next competitor Dagmar Kulenova from Slovakia. Then the third place is not yet easily seen here. From up top it it would seem like Melissa Johnson is third, although there are quite a few meters still left ahead of us. This is the race of endurance, but also the race of speed. Those last 200 meters are going to be crucial for both competitors. Johnson is trying to speed up uh, just a little bit, just a little bit, not to let Katarina Milova from Czech Republic overtake her, not to beat her to those finals. And Anderson first with a strong lead. then Kulenova and then Johnson. Spaszliwe. 
Already we can see the next race, K2 women 1000 meters heat number 2. From the Great Britain, the lane first, Rebecca Simon. And the second lane, Sweden, Julia Langerstam. Slovakia on the fourth lane, Katarina Peksukova. Fifth lane, Helen Shirley Johnson van Wuer from South Africa. Sixth lane, Netherlands. Kitty Shiphorst Pruer, 7 lane Uzbekistan, Arina Tamatsivela, 8th lane is not present and 9th lane from, uh, from Switzerland, Franzka Widmer. Sweden once again going strongly in the first place. Julia Lagerstam. Her colleague from Swedish national team won the last uh, race. Hit number one for K1 women 1000 meters. Melissa Anderson finished, uh, Anderson finished that race with a time of 4 minutes and 16 seconds. Let's see how Langerstam is going to perform this time.
Only a quarter of the race ahead of them. Some have already crossed that line. For now all of the athletes seem quite equal. Last few meters of this race. First, Julia Langerstam from Sweden. Then, on the last lane, uh, Franziska Widmer. First from Sweden, Julia Langerstam, a second ahead of her teammate from also Sweden. Then uh, from Switzerland, Franziska Widmer and then Great Britain, Rebecca Simon. They are going straight to finals A. And this has been the last race of the morning part. Next race is going to take place at precisely noon. This will be K1 men, tier 1, 200 meter special olympics and this is going to be final A. Hello everyone, welcome back to uh, 2024 ICF Canoe Sprint World Cup. We are now uh, starting with the first semi-finals of today. 4K men 500 meters, that is semi final number one. Third line from China Bu, Wang, Zhang, and Dong. Fourth line Czech Republic Serman, Sołcek, Krlik, and Hunhal. Fifth line Poland Pilarz, Wiczew, Leszczyński, Kajdanek. Sixth line Belgium Bestians, Wangel, Akerele, Bestians. These athletes has, have already been racing today. They were present during the first and second race. Uh, that was at 10 o'clock. So only an hour and a half after the finish. Maybe even less than half uh, hour and a half. <coughs> after the finish of their first race, they are going to compete again. This surely has had put some toll on their strength. But still, I am hoping for... Uh, Good experience, at least for us viewers. Ready, set, and go. Third number and third lane from China. Bu, Wang, Zhang, and Dong. They are on the lead right now. This is a very quick race, it is quite important to gain that advantage at the very beginning because then you can relax just a little bit, you can control the, the race. It would seem like um, it is 
the Czechian crew that is last for now. They are going to have to speed up just a little bit to get to that third place, which is uh, which is going to let them pass to finals. Although I don't think this is going to happen because they are already a meter, maybe two meters behind the rest of the competitors. And although I am sure that they are not going to give up just yet, they don't seem to have a chance with Pauls on the fifth lane. But maybe, just maybe, they are going to overtake Belgians. For now, lane 6, Belgium. Besteis, Wengel, Akerele and Besteins on the third place. At a few more seconds, a few more seconds and it seems that it was a Czech Republican crew, Sermak, Socek, Pralik and Hummel that were third in this race. Let's wait a little bit, a second, uh, for the official confirmation. Unfortunately for a uh, crew from Belgium, they were last and are not going to qualify to Final A. We are going to see China, Poland and Czech Republic there. Final A of this category is going to be seen um, tomorrow. Today we are not going to have many finals A, uh, just in the Paralympic category. But for now, C2 men, 500 meters, semi-final number one. This is an uh, only. This is a only one semi-final. It's the same case as it was uh, just previously in the K4 men. Lane 3, Ukraine, Vitali Verheles and Andrei Rybaczok. Lane 4, Angolia, Manuel Antonio and Binilson Sanda. Lane 5, Germany, Hannes Miller and Florin Bange. And Lane 6, Great Britain, Benjamin Phillips and Jonathan Jones. The race will take place in about two minutes. Competitors are already getting ready for the start. They are already paddling towards the starting line. If you look on the surface of the water, you might see that there is some wind present. Unfortunately, the weather probably will go uh, will go a little bit worse as the time of this competition progresses Ukraine, Angolia, Germany and Great Britain crews are crawling into that starting line.
They are already, already in the starting blocks. And the same rules stand as there were in K for men. First three places go to the final A. The fourth place is sadly out of the competition. Ready, set and go! First Ukraine, then on the fifth line from Germany, Müller and Bange. This is 500 meters, there is no rest in between the start and the finish, they are just constantly picking up the pace, picking up the speed. No time for the doubts, you have to give all you have to get through that 500 meters distance. We are already past the half of the race and Ukraine still first. Then, Germ uh, then Great Britain and Germany in the second and third place. Great Britain now slightly losing to Germany, but if they are going to pick uh, to keep this pace, they are still going to qualify to finals A. Ukrainian crew already certain of their victory, they are not really speeding up, but Great Britain now with a nice long strokes is going to pass as the third, uh, as the third crew through the finishing line. Vitaly Verheles, Andriy Robachok, first place. Then Hannes Müller and Florin Bange from Germany, second and then Benjamin Phillips and Jonathan Jones third. Less than 2 minutes, a minute and 51 seconds. This is how much it took the Ukrainian boat to get through that 500 meters. The best time for this category is a little lower, of course, but uh, a little lower, a little uh, shorter. But we are going to see an even future competition in Finals A that are going to take place tomorrow as well.
Next race, K1 Women 1000 meters semi final number one. This is the only semi final. Lane two, racing under the FC, uh, ICF banner, Soman Soltani. Lane three, Netherlands, Kitty Shiphorst Pruper. Fourth lane, Slovakia, Katerina Peksukova. Fifth lane, Slovenia, Anestia Blay. Sixth lane, Czech Republic. Katerina Milova and 7th lane Republic of South Africa Helen Shirley Janssen von Van Wurer Wuren Competitors are now getting ready and placing themselves in the starting blocks. Sultani, Shipkos, Prepper, Peksukova, Steblai, Milova and Jansen van Wurer, Wuren. First few meters of the race are already behind us. On the first place, at least for now, from Netherlands, Schiphorst Prupper. On the for now uh, strong second uh, position from Slovakia, Katarina Peksukova, just next to her on the fourth line. Third place, Saman Soltani, racing under the ICF banner. Originally from Iran, she is now training with Australian national crew. We are seeing the split time for 250 meters. From Netherlands, Kotek Schiphorst Prupper, uh, 1 minute and 4 seconds. This is how much it took her to get through that half line. First three competitors go to the final A. And it seems that the most important fight of this of this uh, semi-final is going to take place between uh, Soltani on the second line and Jensen van Vure on the seventh line.
no it is not uh, Jensen Van Wurer, it is Katerina Milova from Czech Republic uh, now on the fourth position, but she is not far behind uh, Saman Soltani, which, uh, who is third. A little bit more than 100 meters left to go, and still there is chance for uh, for Katerina to get on that third position to qualify to final A. Less than 200 meters uh, left, left to go for uh, Katarina Peksukova and Kotek Shiphorst Pruper that are now racing for that first place. Slovakia and Netherlands. After them, five, meter, uh, five meters in the back or so. Uh, Soman Soltani and Katerina Milova. Who is going to be first, second and most importantly third? Katerina Peksukova crosses the finishing line as first. Then after her, Kotek Shiphorst Pruper from Netherlands. And then on the third place, Katarina Milova. We have the results. Peksukova with uh, the time of 4 minutes and 23 seconds is first. Then Shiphos Pruper and Milova. We are going to see them in the finals A, which are going to take place tomorrow at 10.35. Okay, the next race we are seeing right now is KT1 men 200 meters Spe Special Olympics Final A. Lane 1, Germany, Team Hammerschmidt. Lane 2, Poland, Daniel Kowalczyk. Lane 3, Poland, Marcin Schmidt. Lane 4, Germany, Clemens Minter. Lane 5, Poland, Szymon Klinowski. Lane 6, Marco Cristalio. Lane 7, Poland, Konrad Pająk. Lane 8, Germany, Tobias Schwepe. And Lane 9, Samuel Katzper from Poland as well. Only Germany and Poland here. I'm sure there will be quite a fierce competition.
just a few more seconds to the start. They don't have the aid of starting blocks, so placing themselves in the right spot will require quite a lot of precision, especially in the strong headwind. There has been some commotion on the lane 5, where Clemens Minter briefly touched with uh, Szymon Klinowski, but I am sure that everything is going to be fine. As you can see, it is not that easy to stay in one place. Especially if you have to stay for a really long time. Ready, set and go! Quite a bit of shuffling here at the start, but for now at the uh, fifth lane, Szymon Klinowski is in the first place. and it seems that he's going to stay in that first place, as he's still gaining advantage over his opponents. Second, at least for now, also on the second lane, uh, from Poland, uh, Daniel Kowalczyk. This is final A, so these competitors are racing for the gold, silver and bronze medal. Klinowski still with a lead, although not as heavy as it was uh, previously. But nonetheless, he's going to cross the finishing line at the first place. Then after him, Daniel Kowalczyk. And on the sixth line, Marco Cristallo from Germany. Gold, silver and bronze to, to Klinowski, Kowalczyk and Cristallo. And it seems that official resorts are different than mine. Shim uh, Shimon Klinowski first place, then Daniel Kowalczyk and then Konrad Pajong. So all three competitors uh, that have taken medals are from Poland. There were brandishing 5th, 2nd and 7th number during this race. But now the next start, K2, uh, K22, uh, KT22. 
2022 Women 200m Special, Special Olympics. This is also Final A. Third line Germany, Karola Juheim and Larissa Flebe. Fourth line Lithuania, Ruta Pezercekaite and Camila Kiverite. Fifth line Germany, Sofia Felwork and Sandra Leiba. Sixth line Germany, Leona Jones and Marte Stelse. Seventh line Germany, Diediana Dedrich and Berit Johnson. This time, beside Germans, we can see one Lithuanian crew. And Lithuanian crew is nowhere to be seen, at least for now. Four German boats are trying to keep steady in the wind. Of course, getting yourself, yourself in the nice starting position is quite beneficial. The boat should be somewhat straight, shouldn't cross the starting lane.
canali su Instagram non li sento così posizionati It looks like we have the final crew uh, getting ready to the race. Ruta Pazertskaine uh, and Camila Kiverite are taking their position in the lane number four. Now they need to carefully get to the front. I reckon that the judge is uh, shortly going to give an order to get ready and start. <laughs> German crew Leona Jones and Marte Stelze in the sixth line are going strongly, are going quickly forward. They intend to dominate this competition and I think they are going to do just fine with that. They are racing for the gold medal, the first gold medal that Germany is going to obtain in this competition. Last 100 meters or so, or even less. Those red marks are indicating that the finish is closing by. And indeed, with a strong, strong uh, advantage over the opponents. Joanna, uh, Leona Jones and uh, Merte Stelse. Taking the first place. Yes, indeed, Lona Jones and Merte Stelze from Germany, first in the final A of KT2 Women 200m Special Olympics. Who's going to be second and who's going to be third? Who's going to take the silver or the bronze medal? Leona Jones at Stelze as first, then second. Uh, Juchheim and Flebe and third, Felwork and Leiba. Three German uh, crews on the podium. Thank you. 
Next place is going to take uh, will take its course shortly. Uh, KT1 Women 200 meters Special Olympics. This is also a final A. Although we are going to have to wait a little bit, as some of the competitors from the previous race are also going to to compete here in the KT1 category. Leona Jones, who has just won a golden medal together with her colleague. Merta Stelse is going to, to race in this start as well. Next race, KT1 Women 200 meters Special Olympics. This is final A, so these competitors are going to race for the gold and silver and bronze medal. On the first position, Maria Oginska from Poland. Then lane two, Germany, Sofia Felwork. Lane three, Lithuania. Ruta Pezereckajte. Lane four, Germany, Diana Diedrich. Lane 5, Germany, Leona Jones. She has just won the first place in the previous race. Lane 6, Halina Andrzejak from Poland. Lane 7, Germany, Karola Juchheim. And Lane 8 from Lithuania, Kamile Kivertike. And they have already started. Number 5, 1 and 2, these are the these are the quickest competitors here. So Leona Jones once again showing us what she is made from and she is made from the solid gold because she is going to race for that, that, that the most prized medal once again. Yes, Leona Jones first and then I believe it is Ruta Perezkaite from Lithuania. No, it is not. It's second. Uh, second line from Germany, Sofia Feldwork. Lona Jones, Sofia Feldwork. And then, then it depends on how it all will end. Maybe Camille Kiverita from Lithuania and maybe Karola uh, Juchheim are going to take the third plays the bronze medal. And Lona Jones has already crossed the finishing line. Sofia fell work as well. And also Karola Juchheim, also from Germany. Three Germans on the podium.
we have the official results here and it is not three Germans uh, on the podium. Uh, first, from Germany, Leona Jones, golden medal, then also Germany, Zofia Felwork, uh, silver medal, and then Poland, Halina Andrzejak with the bronze. This is KT2, men mixed with female, uh, 200 meters Special Olympics, final A. First lane, Germany, Marco Kristalo and Peter Zurek. Uh, second lane, Poland, Daniel Kowalczyk and Szymon Klinowski. Third lane, Tobias Schwepe and Heiko Polak. Fourth lane, Poland, Jacek uh, Mazanowski and Michał Lotz. Fifth lane, Germany. Siemens Minter and Marco Hess. Fifth uh, sixth lane, team uh, Hummer Schmidt and Leon uh, Schaffer from Germany. Then Poland. Seventh lane, Kornel uh, Koiczak. Albert Adamczyk, also Poland on the eighth. Kacper Gibas and Veronika Lotz. And on the ninth lane, Marcik, Marcin Schmidt and Konrad Pająk, also from Poland. Uh, Marcin Schmidt and Konrad Pająk uh, took the silver and bronze medal in their respective category uh, KT1 men uh, 200 meters. So keep your eyes open for them. But it seems that they have not made it to the first place this time. Uh, it is Marco Cristallo and Peter Zurek from Germany on the first lane that have crossed the finishing line and took the gold. Of course, we have to wait for the official results before announcing uh, for sure, for certain, those, uh, those places. But still, it seems that they have had a strong enough lead to conclude this, this information. After them, I believe um, it was also a German crew, Tobias Schweppe and Heiko Polak, and then Daniel Kowalczyk and Szymon Klinowski from Poland. And it appears to be correct. First, Marco Cristallo and uh, Piotr Zurek, Zurek from Germany. Second, Tob uh, Tobias Schweppe and Heiko Polak, also from Germany. And then third, for bronze medal, uh, Daniel Kowalczyk and Szymon Klinowski. And this was the race, the last race of Special Olympics. And now we are going to have a break. Competitors need to rest a little bit and get prepared for the next uh, races of today. And what is the next race? Uh, it is C1M 200 meters hit number one. It will take place at two o'clock. So. So let's all take a quick break and get back to watching at 2 o'clock.